Well, here we are again doing another stone foundation. So I'm going to get a good video of the beginning of this process and then do some intermediary videos to show the progress. This is the main wall. The steps are right there. So the homeowner has done a great job of removing all the storage that was down here and plasticking, covering off all the stuff, all the, you know, these appliances. So <clears throat> he did a really good job and uh, I'm grateful for that. It makes work a lot easier because I can move around quite a bit. So this is how it looks. Now I'm going to get to work chiseling out the, uh, the loose debris. This is the second day, middle of the second day, near the end of the second day. bag of type S in a five gallon bucket with one trowel scoop of the type in. Step discussed before. I've, oh, I've cut the tip off of this at an angle so that it's at an angle so you can tuck it in there more easily. It can get pretty, there's one and about a half. Right in the middle like that. It's easier to direct it in. It's a nice clean, I don't know if you can see that from over there, but it's a nice clean surface. You, go, you do go constantly like a, you just got to squeeze it out. And you got to do this a lot where you get it all out for most of it. You've got a bunch in there and you put more on top, it creates an air pocket. And when you're, when you're squeezing, it'll pop and sand will get in your eye. That's happened more than once. So it really just takes a lot of practice to get good at using this grout bag. And I have lots and lots of practice. So it really won't take too long to do this. You know, one one bag and I got that. Half a half a bucket will do about three feet of this wall. This over there was like two buckets and that was six, that's about six, seven feet. Two buckets is about one bag of mortar. One 80 pound bag of pre-mix masonry mix. So as you can see, 
I have filled this with mortar. I did about half this wall here this morning. Just got back from lunch and now I'm going to use my gloves and a little stick tool to smooth down the joints. Okay, we're gonna smooth down the mortar while it's firming up. It's not dry and it's not sticky wet, okay? It's right in the middle of dry and sticky wet. Just that simple. Now down here it's more sticky, okay? So I want to wait. I can do some of it. As long as it doesn't smear all over the place, but then I have to wait. Basements are kind of hard like that because it's moist, it's humid down in the basements. So it doesn't take that, it takes a while for this to cure. And you don't want to be here all day, so you do this in the morning, first half of the day, and then you tool it by the end of the day. Also, what is used in this process is brushing. And this just finishes off, knocks down the high, then, you know, the crumb. Call them crumbs. Here is the finished product. It has been sealed. First we chiseled off all the old paint and loose debris and all the old mortar and then we tuck pointed it and sealed it and the texture really comes out. It seals out the moisture and it's clean it won't flake and chip and uh, yes 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 this is how we do foundation repair so hire natural stone masonry to do your foundations just like this. This took one week. Actually a little more than one week. About eight days. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching this video. And please subscribe to the channel and or hire Natural Stone Masonry to do some foundation repair for you.